Hello and welcome to another multi-platform arcade game designer tips video. This time I'm going to show you how to activate Adventure Mode for the Spectrum and Amstrad CPC 464. Now Adventure Mode um, allows you to make changes to the screens during the game. So you may want to, for example, have a game where um, you have a series of locked doors uh, which the player needs to open by collecting keys. Uh, and once you've, uh, once the player has collected the key and opened the door, you'll want that door to remain open for the remainder of the game. Well, that's possible in Adventure Mode. So um, I'll show you first how we do that on the uh, Amstrad. What you need to do is to go to your um, MPAGD uh, directory where you've installed the game, uh, the tool rather, and um, first of all we'll go to the Suite CPC subdirectory and look in there. Now you'll find a batch file in there, build.bat. What we need to do is drag that into Notepad, I've got a session up here, and we look for the line um, that does the compilation, and on the CPC it's simply AGD% 1. Now if we want to activate Adventure Mode on the CPC, we just add a switch there, a dash A, and that will compile your game with Adventure Mode activated. Without the dash A, um, uh, you won't get that uh, behaviour. So. ADD% 1-A in build.bat, and that's that's all there is to it on the CPC. Now for the Spectrum, it's slightly more complicated. Um, let's go to the Suite ZX subdirectory, and you'll find um, two batch files in there that you need to edit. The build batch file, and then if you want to export your game when you've finished it, you'll need to edit the export.bat as well. Now if we go to the build file, um, the line that does the compilation for the Spectrum is compiler ZX% 1. And to activate Adventure Mode, we just do the same thing. We just add the dash A on to the end of it, and that will activate Adventure Mode so you can make changes to the screens during the game. Um, <clears throat> the export batch file... Um, is similar. You'll see that there are two other options that have been added there, the dash S and the dash Y. That just tells it which um, um, assembler we're going to be using and, and which um, and to disable the AY sounds in that case. Um, but again, it's just the same. Just add a dash A onto the end of that and you'll build it with Adventure Mode activated. So that's all there is to it really. That's how to activate Adventure Mode for the Spectrum and the Amstrad CPC-464.